Shamrock and whiskey before drinking it. Also, green wasn't even St. Patrick's color. He was more of a blue guy, believe it or not. As St. Patrick's Day shifted from a religious holiday to a day of celebrating Ireland's history, the color green became associated with it. Where's your green? Pinch, pinch. I can't wear green because of the green screen. Oh, oh, case in point, Allie has a beautiful green dress, right? You've been seeing that so far. Yeah, it looks a little Look bluish. What, yeah, this is what the green screen we does. We match. It matches your tights. We're prom dates. Look at this. Yeah. We're going to prom. Now, <laughs> can I show you kind of more but of like a green see screen color? You can't see college on my legs. Yeah, see how see you can see maps through her? That's why I can't wear green. Now, let's up the ante a little bit. We have Kyle. He works in our sales department. Kyle, he's modeling this hour for us. Whoa. Look how buff he is. Ooh. He's got a color green shirt that's more like this green screen right here. In case in point, that's why you can see Mechanicsburg and the cloudy skies through him mm -hmm. much better than you can see the cloudy skies through Allie. There and there's go. the magic. There is the TV weather magic. And this is why poor Drew, each and every year, gets hounded that he's not wearing green on St. Patrick's Day because you can't. Right. So you usually wear orange like this. And then I heard it's maybe bad to wear orange if, if you're... Someone that likes Irish. I heard I don't some, know. someone told me that Google one Google it, I yeah. guess. But well, we're going to let you take this one away. Well, I was told I look like a leprechaun, so I don't know. You I look exactly like a leprechaun yet. at six I foot three. Yeah. Absolutely. Straight leprechaun. Very good looking guy, too. He's taken, ladies. Sorry about that one. All right, let's get into the weather right now. So, yeah, so no green tie for me. But I do want to get you up to date, not on some green, but on some white. There will be some spotty snow happening tonight. Now, spotty just meaning hit or miss. Some of us get it, some of us don't. Some of us get it for longer than other spots. There will also be some spotty rain, and we're going to keep a careful eye on that because the ground is so cold, thanks to that giant ice cube, a.k.a. all the snow we got this past week, that that could cause some spotty freezing rain. See, when that spotty rain hits that cold ground, there's no salt around, like say on some sidewalks, it could instantly freeze into ice. As for tomorrow day, there will be some flurries and some sprinkles, both spotty like tonight. And then tomorrow night, we do it all again, minus the spotty freezing drizzle or the spotty rain. Tomorrow night, we just have some hit or miss snow. At the most tonight, if you happen to get a hit with the snow, you get a coating to an inch. Same thing goes tomorrow. If you happen to get a hit with the snow, coating to an inch at the most. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. We don't need to see through someone to see that. Near 50 for your Monday. Hello spring because Monday is the first day of spring. Right now on live storm tracker radar, it is dry and quiet here at home as we have our five sweeps, but that is not the case out to our west. A couple flurries showing up. Now, even though it looks like we have a couple sprinkles showing up in Franklin County, eh, the air is just too dry right now. It's not reaching the ground. Now, because we talked about the chance of some of that spotty drizzle or even some of that spotty rain hitting the ground and freezing into ice, the National Weather Service wanted to err on the side of caution, and that's why there's a winter weather advisory in effect from 2 a.m. tonight until 11 a.m. tomorrow morning. So just be on the lookout for some icy spots if you happen to run into some drizzle overnight, or even if you happen to run into some, some spotty snow, because after all, it doesn't take much snow to make the roads slick. It's a good thing there's still a lot of salt on the roads. So let's time everything out. This is future weather. We're going to go hour by hour. It's just your hour by hour forecast to show you how spotty the snow is and how spotty some of that freezing rain. That's those pinks right there in York County and Southern York County over Delta is and real hit or miss. Then tomorrow, look what happens. Some more spots seeing rain because it does get warmer throughout the day, but this is just plain old rain. The ground will be warm enough where it won't freeze right away when it hits the ground. So we'll see some spotty drizzle and a couple flurries here or there. After that, it gets cold. So Saturday night, watch this. We have some hit or miss snow, and if you happen to get a hit, you're going to get a coating to an inch at the most. If you don't get a hit, eh, you don't get anything, which is not a bad thing in my book after this past week. As for the snowfall tonight, the potential, hey, not much. Virtually nothing in York. A few spots, ah, a little bit over a coating, like in Carlisle or Duncan and other spots, not a thing. So more of a nuisance than anything. As for the umbrella, you could use that tomorrow, but Sunday, nah, you don't need it. The sun comes back for the afternoon. Monday, we got some more rain sneaking back into the picture, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, how about some sunshine? And look at the temperature for the first day of spring, 48. Hey, that's not bad, but we can do better, and we will do better in your seven-day forecast. That's heading your way in just a few minutes. New Zealand police shooting and killing a 10-month-old trainee bomb detector puppy that was running around at an airport.